Hi there, welcome to Crypto Smart Channel, and I'm happy to welcome you to another video. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the notification bell down below so you get notified whenever we post similar videos like this. With that being said, let's get to the video. Verification guidelines Pi Network has gone under the radar of popular media and they have been gradually gaining momentum whilst building solid foundations. We have seen the addition of Pi apps, marketplace codes and now the ability to KYC. This guide will help you through the Pi Network KYC verification process and how you can get verified. In today's video, we have brought you some really exciting info on the guidelines about Pi Network KYC verification. So without further ado, let's hop into the video a little bit. Intro on KYC means know your customer and sometimes know your client. KYC check is the mandatory process of identifying and verifying the client's identity when opening an account and periodically over time. In other words, banks must make sure that their clients are genuinely who they claim to be. Banks may refuse to open an account or halt a business relationship if the client fails to meet minimum KYC requirements. Now our main thing is to talk about Pi Network KYC verification. And most importantly all the guidelines that are part of this video. So make sure you keep watching the video as we unveil some of the most exciting stuff. Step 1 Get Invited How do I get selected for Pi Network KYC verification? Before the launch of Mainnet, the Pi Network team seems to be gradually inviting users to start the process. With 8 million users, you can understand why this might be necessary. Eventually everyone will KYC, so there is no rush. There is nothing to gain by doing it sooner. We don't know what method Pi Network is using to select users for the KYC process. It could be down to the join date, the number of referrals, the amount of Pi are perhaps at random. How do you know when they've invited you? You will receive an invitation to start when you open the app. If they have selected you for KYC, it will appear as a plain white notification box in the middle of your screen. Don't worry if you missed it or closed it accidentally. If you open your profile information within settings, you will see the option there. Alongside phone and Facebook verification. Notably, the invitation states you only have a day to complete KYC, presumably before the opportunity passes to the next user to get as many people through the process as soon as possible. What if I've been invited but I missed the time limit to KYC? If you were selected for KYC but missed the deadline for completing it, you may be waiting a while to get a second chance to complete it. I would imagine you've been returned to the back of the queue. The ultimate goal for Pi Network is to get everyone through the KYC process and secure the network, so I wouldn't worry too much. Step 2 The Pi Network KYC process For the KYC process Pi Network requests you download the Yodi app in which you can scan your government IDs. Upon approval, it will automatically fill your personal information in. It's worth noting. While you're still waiting to receive the invitation, you can download and set up the Yoti app. If you have already set up Yodi, you can complete the KYC verification as soon as they invite you. After approval, you can launch Pi Network again. Go into your profile information within settings as before, you will see the KYC option there alongside phone and Facebook verification. Select Verify and Pi will connect with the Yoti app and transfer the required information. KYC process in the Pi Network The Pi Network project requires a KYC verification to all of its users to avoid cheating in the mining program inside the app, one user mining in different devices. But the project isn't to the KYC itself because Pi Network uses a third party application for the verification called Yoti. Yoti app is a service app that encryptedly stores a user's data, meaning one can get access to it, even the app itself. So what does this third party means? 
This means that Pi Network won't accept your IDs to be verified. But instead present it to Yoti. You should verify yourself in Yoti using your passport or national ID, but if you don't have it, no need to worry because the Pi Network are currently looking for an alternative. Way for its users to be verified without using a passport or national ID. What should you do next? If you have set up and download the Yoti app already, that doesn't really mean that you can now be a KYC verified in the Pi Network. Why? Because Pi Network only give limited slots for KYCs to users. You need to wait and be lucky to be chosen as one of Lucky Pi members. That will be granted with the slots. If you are lucky, a pop-up inside the application will show that will say that you are one of the lucky members to able to be a verified users. As Pi Network has recently passed 9. 5 million engaged users, excitement is building for the fledgling cryptocurrency. When Pi passes 10 million users, the basic mining rate will either fall from 0.4 Pi H to 0.2 Pi or mining will cease completely. It could also herald the launch of Phase 3 and Mainnet, when Pi coins will finally become a tangible and tradable cryptocurrency. The push towards the Pi Network verification process supports this idea. Final thoughts Pi Network is somehow looks a promising project with an active community and developers. The project are taking small steps for the project to reach its success. This might be a long-term one, but who knows how successful can it be and you can be a part of it without spending a single cent. Perhaps there will be options other than Yoti to KYC in the future. As new people join the network in the future, they will also need to KYC. So ideally, Pi Network will develop its own in-house system for doing KYC, either way, I wouldn't. Imagine you'd lose your accrued Pi if you were unable to use Yodi before a set date. We will see. Everybody seems extremely excited about the future of Pi and the potential behind the social-based. Verification system. This push towards KYC is a push towards ensuring the legitimacy of the user. Accounts and the safety and security of the network. That's all for today's video guys, thank you for watching. I hope all the shared information will be helpful all and if you have any questions or doubts please leave it in the comment section. I will try my best to sort out your confusion. Till then, stay tuned and keep supporting and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more informative content.